Google is a company that is always changing, and with those changes come layoffs. In 2023, Google employees were hit with a round of layoffs. This video explores why those layoffs happened, and how they affected the employees who were let go. 1. What is Google? Google is a technology company that was founded in 1998 by Larry Page and Sergey Brin. It is one of the world's most popular search engines, with over 1.3 billion active monthly users. The company also manufactures and sells a wide range of electronic equipment, including smartphones, tablets, and laptops. In early March, Google announced that it was laying off employees in 2023 in order to focus on new projects. The company cited the changing environment of the technology industry as the reason for the layoffs. While the company has not offered a specific explanation, many people are concerned that the layoffs could have a negative impact on Google's search results. With so many people relying on Google for their information, any changes to its search algorithms could have a significant impact on its business. The layoffs are just the latest in a series of setbacks for Google. In early 2018, the company announced that it was suspending its planned acquisition of Motorola Mobility. Later that year, it was revealed that the company had been using political manipulation to improve its search results. Google is facing a number of challenges, including layoffs of employees in 2023. These layoffs could have a negative impact on the company's search results, and the company is facing other challenges such as the suspension of its planned acquisition of Motorola Mobility. 2. Will we always use Google? Google is one of the most popular search engines in the world and has been a staple in many people's lives. However, they recently laid off a large number of employees which has left many people wondering what the future of Google holds. Here are some reasons why Google may have laid off employees in 2023. Increasing competition from other search engines, Google's monopoly on the search engine market may be waning as other companies invest in developing their own search engines. Declining use of Google People are increasingly turning to alternate search engines for their needs, such as Bing and Yahoo. Lack of innovation, Google has been largely stagnant in terms of their search engine features and design. Expense, Google's expenses have been increasing, which may have contributed to the decision to lay off employees. Google's recent decision to lay off a large number of employees may signal the beginning of the end for their monopoly on the search engine market. While Google still has a lot of support, it is important to be aware of the reasons why employees were laid off in order to make informed decisions about your online presence. 3. What took them so long? Google has been known for its innovative search technology, but in the past year or so, the company has made headlines for some pretty strange decisions. In early 2019, Google announced that it would be laying off thousands of employees in an effort to focus on higher value work. Since then, Google has been under fire for other decisions, like firing employees for using the bathroom during work, and firing an engineer for writing a hashtag Google walkout memo. While it's unclear why Google made these decisions, it's clear that they didn't take the public's opinion into account. In this blog post, we'll explore why Google laid off employees in 2023, and what the consequences might be. 
We'll also provide some tips for protecting yourself from future layoffs at Google. Google's recent decisions, like layoffs and firing employees for using the bathroom, show that the company is prioritizing profits over employees and public opinion. While these decisions might make business sense, they have consequences for employees and the public. If you're affected by these decisions, here are some tips for protecting yourself. 4 or 5 Reasons Why Did Google Decide to Kill Off Google Ideas? Google has announced that it is layoffing 20% of its workforce, or about 6,000 employees. This includes employees working on Google Ideas, a division that was created in late 2015. As a way to harness the power of the internet and identify new ways to use technology to make people's lives better. While some have speculated that this was a result of President Trump's election, there are a few other reasons that could explain Google's decision. First, Google has been struggling with how to monetize its services. While it still makes a lot of money through advertising, its main source of revenue is now from selling its Android operating system and its other apps and services. Second, Google has been trying to figure out how to compete with Amazon and Facebook. While it has a lot of money and a large user base, it's not as successful as either of those companies when it comes to making money. And finally, Google has been struggling with how to keep its employees happy. Earlier this year, employees staged a walkout over high salaries and poor working conditions. There are a few reasons why Google decided to lay off 6,000 employees, including the fact that it's struggling to make money. Amazon and Facebook are doing better, and it's not successful at keeping its employees happy. Conclusion Conclusion Google laid off employees in 2023. This was announced in a blog post on the company's website on September 20th. The reason for the layoffs was not disclosed, but it is speculated that they may be related to the recent changes to Google's search algorithm. Many employees are likely feeling upset and frustrated right now. It is always difficult to face layoffs, but it is important to remember that this is a business decision which is necessary for Google to remain competitive. Hopefully, the layoffs will not have a negative impact on Google's overall business. If you like this video please subscribe and share it with other Google employees.